have in front of me a styrofoam block and I'm going to blow up a balloon. And tie it. And you can see that there's very no real attraction of the balloon to the styrofoam block. But if I rub the balloon on my red the red balloon on my uh, wool sweater, it will build up a static negative charge and will induce an opposite charge in the styrofoam block and the opposite charges will attract. Now if I let the block touch the balloon so that the negative charge of the balloon is transferred to the block so that both the styrofoam block and the balloon have a negative charge. Now you can see that the balloon is, repels the styrofoam block because they both have the same negative charge. Now if I can get the charge reduced by touching it. And again, it's attracted first. But if I touch the balloon to the styrofoam block, they get the same charge. And there's a repulsion, as you can see. Now another fun thing you can do with a balloon is rub it and put it on the wall and it will induce an opposite charge in the wall and stick to the wall. And the third thing that I'd like to show you is a, I have here a, a, a burette tip and I'm going to let water flow through it. And I'd like to show you what happens when I bring the balloon near the burette trip. The water gets attracted to the balloon. It even it touches the balloon. The balloon with its negative charge induces, the balloon got so wet that it neutralized the charge, but it induces a negative charge in the water and causes it to be repelled. So those are three fun things you can do.